It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. Hello, hello, hello. It's Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, and welcome back to Trading Stocks Made Easy. I am thrilled when we have this time together, but I think you already know that. Hey, listen, in this episode, I want to talk to you about something called trading styles. Because whenever I'm out, and I'm traveling throughout the country, you know, or I'm at a party, and someone says, hey, what do you do? And I say, well, I teach people how to trade and invest in the stock market. Uh, the response is always, oh, so you're a day trader. No, I'm not really a day trader, but I created a style called the wealthy investor approach to stock market trading and investing. So in this episode, I want to give you a little bit of insight in the styles of trading and what actually goes on in the Wealthy Investor Program. So without further ado, let's have a discussion about martial arts. Now, for those of you who've ever taken a martial arts class or who love martial art movies, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. Martial arts has different styles. So for some people, they love karate. That is the style of martial arts, and they can tell you everything about karate. I have a friend who's into jujitsu, both martial arts, but two totally different fighting styles and styles of being defensive. I have another friend who's into taekwondo. And when these guys get together, they can do hours and hours about their styles. In fact, there are even places where their styles intersect. It's all martial arts, but it's a different way of thinking, a different way of defending yourself, and a different way of attacking your opponent. Well, did you know in the stock market there are also different styles of trading? So I'm just going to touch upon a few, and I'm going to tell you what makes the wealthy investor approach unique and different. Well, here we go. The most common form of trading is something called day trading. Now, let's talk about what day traders do. A day trader sits at a computer all day long and they find a stock that has a lot of movement in it, and we call that volatility. And what that day trader's job is to buy and sell that stock as many times as possible within one day. Now, a good day trader is disciplined. In other words, they're going to buy 1,500, 2,500, maybe even 3,500 shares and wait for the stock to actually advance 50 cents and quickly sell those shares. Then they're waiting for the stock to drop a little bit, and then they're going to buy their 3,500 shares back again, and on a 50-cent uptick in the stock, they're going to sell it. Now, here's why most people are not successful day traders, is because they don't have the discipline to take that 50-cent advance in the stock when it happens. So as a result, a lot of people try day trading, and then they say, it just doesn't work for me. Now, here's what I don't like about day trading, is first of all, I don't want to sit at a computer all day long searching for a 50 cent advance in a stock. I'd rather use automated trades, but I'll talk about that in just a moment. So the day trader who has to sit there all day long, guess what? They now have a job. And a job, which a lot of public speakers say, stands for just over broke, prevents you from creating residual income. And a job, generally speaking, will prevent you from experiencing financial freedom. Why? Because the stock market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern and closes at 4 p.m. Eastern. Well, if you want a job, you basically have a 9.30 to 4 job because if you don't trade, you don't make money. And that's why I don't like day trading. Now, there are other styles of trading, and one of them is called momentum trading. Momentum trading is basically when you wake up in the morning and you look for a stock that's being heavily traded either on news, an earnings release, or something positive that happens in the sector. When you're momentum trading, your job is to get in there with all the players who are attracted to that stock and ride the momentum, almost like a wave at the beach. And when that momentum dies down, you are out. Momentum trading doesn't require that you sit at a computer all day, but you do have to do research before you put your money into the market. There's another style of trading, which I sort of kind of like, and it's called swing trading. 
Now, swing trading means that I may buy some shares of XYZ stock at, let's say, $50 a share, let the stock run up to $57 a share, and then I'm out. Swing trading generally involves holding on to shares a little bit longer. It could be three weeks, a week, three months, and then you take your profit, but you do it consistently over and over and over. So what is it I don't like about day trading, swing trading, and momentum trading? Well, they violate something called fundamentals. So fundamentals means that the company that you're actually trading is making more money year over year or quarter over quarter. And when I'm just in the trade for a momentum, a swing trade, or a day trade, I might not be trading a company that's fundamentally sound. In other words, the revenues in that company might not be consistently growing. The danger with these other styles of trading is if the revenue is not there, if the fundamentals not there under the stock, a press release can be issued in the middle of the day and it can cause the stock to collapse. Which means if you're day trading, swing trading, or momentum trading, you had better have something called a stop loss in order. And that is a tool that you're going to have to learn how to use. And what a stop loss order is says, if this stock ever drops below this particular point, sell my shares automatically. Swing traders, day traders, and momentum traders use an analytical approach to the market that involves something called Japanese candlesticks. Now, if you've ever seen this, Japanese candlesticks are really measuring visually a stock's performance during the day, over a week, or a specific period of time. So these skills can make a lot of money if you work at them. But I want you to imagine that there's another approach that is a little bit easier for the average trader to master, make money residually, and guess what? Build wealth and financial freedom at the same time. And that's really what the wealthy investor approach is all about. You see, if you really want to make a lot of money trading, your goal is to not trade 100 times a day. Why? Well, first of all, you're giving up a lot of commission. And B, you have a job. But when you're mastering the wealthy investor approach, we use automated trades on stocks that are fundamentally sound. Therefore, we're always trading stocks in an upward trend based on how much the company is earning. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about these trading styles right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. You're listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Want to learn more about how to trade and invest in the stock market? Visit thewealthyinvestor.net slash products. That's thewealthyinvestor.net slash products. And order the Wealthy Investor's Guide to Stock Market Success audio series. This easy-to-follow 5-CD audio series and manual will teach you the basics of how to buy and sell stocks, how to collect quarterly dividends for life, plus hidden income-generating strategies like covered call writing and volatility trading. Start creating financial freedom right now. Get the financial education you need to get ahead. Visit thewealthyinvestor.net slash products. So before the commercial break, I was talking to you about the different styles of martial arts to help you understand that they're different styles of trading. And I talked to you about day trading, swing trading, and momentum trading. Now, even though I've defined these styles using the verbiage that I used in the first half of the show, there are some people who use a mixture of all of these styles. So let me share with you a little something that I learned. When I was developing my style of trading 20 years ago as a trader, I realized that trading was just bringing me income, but I had no wealth. So I wanted to add to my trading style something that allows me to buy a stock today that I thought would be 50 to 100% higher five years from now. 
And it occurred to me that if I could perfect that approach, I would have financial freedom. Why? Because there would be some stocks that I was actually trading and there would be other stocks that I was holding for the long term. So what is the wealthy investor approach about? What is this style of trading? Well, it's about income generation, residual income generation that I don't have to sit at a computer for, taking those profits and reinvesting them in stocks that I like for the long term that have what? You guessed it, strong fundamentals. Now, the stocks that I like for the long term are generally members of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I like investing in Dow stocks. Why? Those companies have predictable income streams and they also pay a dividend. What is a dividend? Well, a dividend is your share of a company's profits paid out every 13 weeks, every quarter. Now, imagine if we were really into wealth building if we started wealth building on stocks that paid a dividend and that dividend had a history of growing annually. You see, we'd be like double or triple winners because when you're covered call writing for income, you can take the money that the stock market gives you, you can invest it in Dow stocks that have a history of revenue growth and a history of dividend growth. Are you starting to get the picture? Right. So all you really have to do in the wealthy investor approach is find stocks that are in strong upward trends, stocks that are fundamentally sound and that have a history of dividend growth. And over time, the value of your portfolio will rise. That's why I've been able to help so many people create financial freedom, because the wealthy investor approach is both short term oriented from a trading point of view and long term oriented in the sense that you're always buying stocks that you think will go higher. Now, some of you know that if you're already a member of WI Trade School or you're in the Wealthy Investor Program, that there's another layer to this all. And the other layer is called building a position. Okay? Building a position. Now, what does building a position mean? Well, I'm going to go back to owning those members of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I'm going to buy some shares, a small approach to buying shares. So if there's a new position I want to start in the Dow, I'm not going to buy thousands and thousands of dollars worth of this stock. I'm going to buy, let's say, 10 shares. Then I'm going to wait until that stock advances $5 or more. Now, in the Wealthy Investor Program, we call this a buy signal. Why do I use buy signals on long-term investments? Because I don't want to overinvest in a stock that doesn't have the tendency to go higher. So the way that I like to explain building a position is I'm going to get into a stock. That stock is going to prove to me that it's worthy of another round of investment, another 10 shares. And then when it moves $5, then another round of 10 shares. You see, no matter what happens, I can't lose all my money in that stock because I didn't go gangbusters in. I went in with a disciplined and systematic approach to wealth building. So therefore, I don't overinvest in a stock that's not moving because it's not saying to me, Tyrone, buy more shares. When I teach my students this approach, their results over time are phenomenal because very often they can have multiple buy signals on two, three, or four stocks that they like that are rising in value with a history of dividend increases. And now you see why this approach just makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Now, there are certain trades that we like in the Wealthy Investor Program, and my students really love volatility trading. So let me explain what that means. You see, each and every day, certain stocks have their price shift. Some stocks move 25 cents a day. Others move $3 a day. When you have a stock that's moving 2 to $3 a day, there's an opportunity to trade on that volatility. And the movement in the stock that I like to trade on the most is a $1 increase in the stock. So as you know, every stock in the stock market has its own ticker symbol. So I'm going to refer to XYZ here. And if XYZ is trading at, let's say, $67 a share, but it's moving $2 a day between 67 and 69, there's a specific time during the day when I can buy those shares at 67 and tell the software inside my trading account to sell them the second they get to $68. You've probably heard me talk about volatility trading a lot here on the podcast. So I just want to take another opportunity and explain to it what it is. The benefit of volatility trading in the wealthy investor style is that the software is selling the stock for you instead of you sitting there and having a job just above broke at a computer screen all day long. 
and the software is going to sell me out in the stock that is naturally moving on its own. And when the stock is sold, I'll be out living my life and I get an email. Now, many of my students, actually, uh, when their online broker sends them an email letting them know that the trade has been executed or the stock has been sold, they have a special alert and that alert goes off and that means that they're making money. Now, again, the beauty of volatility trading is that you don't have to sit at a computer all day like a day trader. You're just letting the natural movement of the stock trigger a sale for you using automated software. Now, just so you know, since this podcast is all about getting a financial education, the use of automated software on Wall Street is increasing exponentially. There are people who actually write programs around certain stocks, their price action, and these software programs will buy the stock automatically and sell it for you automatically. And these software programs are what's known as algorithms. So algorithmic trading, buying a software, where you set a buy and sell signal on a particular stock is running rampant through the market. The software writers are making millions and some traders say they like it rather than having to make judgments or decisions about stocks themselves. The software does it for them. So one of the things that you want to do right now is think about the style of trading that you actually like. Do you want to sit at a computer all day, uh, day trading? Do you like momentum or swing trading? Or do you like automated volatility trading? Is your goal before you open an online account to build wealth or actual cash that you can spend trading? The decision you make is totally up to you. I just want you to see the whole scope, the whole sphere of trading, so you pick a style that is right for you. But I'm going to leave you with one word of advice. No matter which style you decide to engage in, make sure the fundamentals of the stock that you're trading are really strong. It'll save you a lot of money. It'll cut out unnecessary losses. Stay with companies that have strong top line revenue growth. And preferably, from a trading point of view, if they pay a dividend and that dividend is growing, you are in the driver's seat. You see, I'm here to help you get a financial education and make smart choices with your money rather than just leaving it up to someone else or leaving your money in a mutual fund. So if you really want to learn more about trading for free, you can sashay on over to thewealthyinvestor.net and download my free ebook on stock market trading and the wealthy investor style of trading. That way, without having to pay for anything, you'll learn something for free. Hey, this is Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying whatever your style is, I'm just glad that we had this time together and that you make smart financial choices about your trading and investing future. Until next time, Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying happy trading. You've been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode. 